Hey class, so for this particular tutorial, I wanted to show you how you can remove certain things out of the background. So let's say I wanted to remove the hands holding the rows outside of this grassy background right here. And I'll show you just how simple it is. And we're going to be using the tool right here, which is the, if I hold down, it says the quick selection tool. Okay. Now, You'll notice that once this is selected, you have things that say select object over here, sample layers, auto enhance, select and mask. So I'm going to say select subject. And I want to see just how accurately this automatically selects certain areas. Now, as you can see, it selected the hands really well because we have enough contrast. That's how the pixels get picked up by this particular tool. Now I'll notice that there are some areas that did not get picked up. So in order for me to pick up more of those pixels, as you'll notice, if I zoom in, and to zoom in it's command plus, command minus, just like in Illustrator, I'm going to zoom in, and if you can see, there's like a small plus sign right here, and if I hold down option, it, it converts into a negative sign. So what I want to do is stay in the positive sign right here and continue my selection by just drawing this out. Okay, um, I'm going to do that for the rest of my shape right here. Um, I want to be careful that I'm not going too overboard. So I kind of like where this is going. Um, so I'm just in the positive, in the positive area. And then for the negative, I want to do that for certain areas right here where I have a bit of space in between the hands and the sweater. So I'll hold down option. Oops. I might need to zoom in a little bit more. And create a negative selection. Okay. And I might need to bring down the size of my brush a slight bit, like right there. Okay. And go back. And then I have my selection right here. So I just want the hands, nothing else. Okay. Now I'll go into my layers palette and notice that I don't have the lock checked. It's already been taken out just by clicking on it. And then I want to get rid of the background. And it's as easy as clicking this guy right here, which is the add layer mask. Like so. So now you have completely taken out the background altogether. Okay, so just wanted to show you just very quickly how you can actually take something out with ease. Um, and there are other areas that you can work on, such as right here uh, with the um, tools that you have in the uh, effects palettes and the filter palettes. Um, but just very quickly taking something out of the background is just how easy it is. Okay. And all I did was use the quick selection tool right here. And I am in my layers palette right here. And I did a, I did a uh, add layer. I'm sorry, I did a uh, mask. I added a vector mask. Okay. So, um, and then what I also had to do was I had to decrease the size of my brush so that I can get into smaller areas like this area right here. Okay. And then the other thing I did was I held down the option key to have a negative deselection. And then for the positive selection to make more of a selection, I just did not hold down anything and just kept painting away. All right. Hope this uh, makes sense and you find it pretty easy and simple to do. And I will see you in the next video where I will show you another demonstration of how to use a few more tools in Photoshop.